Hey guys, well, today I managed to test out some DJI FPV goggles. And um, I, I, I guess I should give a little bit of the thoughts I had at the beginning, and then I can tell you what I think now. So um, I, I got these the other day from um, iFlight, and they came as a package deal with a little HD three quad which is a lovely little kind of bind and fly crossfire you name it does the job straight out the box it flies and it came with the goggles and um part of the the thought process i had behind this is that i just wanted my life to be easy you know i'm very short on time at the moment and what i didn't want is to be spending a lot of time just faffing about trying to build a quad and do all that i don't have time right now i'm too busy so um, i ordered this whole package from um iflight and a couple of weeks later it's arrived Fantastic. So um, obviously the first thing I did is I got the goggles and um, I basically um, I bound them up and I got them hooked up to the, the aircraft, um, which um, was kind of the obvious thing to do, I guess. And um, I had a look at the picture and first reaction was, oh my God, this is amazing. Wow, <laughs> it's, this, it's incredible. But you know, the, I also had a reservation because I was thinking, this almost feels a little bit like box goggles, which the picture's like way out here and you, you kind of, your eyes are looking all over the place and will it help you do any proximity or things like that? And um, I kind of was like, I, I just don't know. And um, well, a week or so went on and eventually today I managed to have a quick flight, just three batteries. And it, the whole idea was just a very quick one, fly, find out if the quad flies and see what I thought of the goggles. And my word, it is <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable. <laughs> um, I, I, I think if this were not a non-family channel, I would be swearing with joy. This is the picture quality on these goggles with these HD quads is just incredible. I don't think it's actually possible to truly even comprehend how good it is until you try them it, it wow absolute wow it's um my, my original thoughts i had is oh okay you know am i going to end up with um issues trying to get through objects and things and seeing stuff not a problem at all it, it's you know the field of view is definitely it's out there but i think that the reality is is that the clarity is so high that when you're flying close in on objects you can see every little detail it is, it's impossible to hit something. You can just see so much and wow, you know, I've got a three inch and I cannot wait to build a seven inch for these goggles. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of feeling a bit like everything else has just instantly been obsoleted. Um, wow, utterly amazing. But um, yeah, so, so much for that. But um, the goods, the bads and the uglies and what, what have I found with it? Well, you do get some breakup. Um, it's better to call it dithering and I'll show you in the video footage I'll show you one shortly which shows the video recorded from the airframe and the video recorded from the goggles and there's no doubt there is a small amount of dithering that can occur when you go into bad signal areas but you know DJI have been quite clever about this and what you can kind of see in the footage is they, they basically almost like they dither the sides and keep your focal point clear um, and that, in my opinion, works fantastically well. It um, it just enables you to really shoot through a gap and not worry about what's going on here because your focal point's in the center there anyway. And um, yeah, it's um, they comfortable. They they work. I'm, I'm just I'm actually completely and utterly blown away. They are so good. Now um, I figure probably the easiest thing for you to do is take a look at some of the footage here. I've got. A little bit of side by side and you can see some of it side by side what I saw in the goggles and the other bits just what's recorded on the um, camera on the quad and all up fantastic utterly fantastic um yeah <laughs> I don't know what it will mean for all my other kit because I've got antenna trackers and long-range gear and everything and um, you know there's still there's still a little bit to go in that area because you know the digital ones haven't really quite got things like this doesn't have a head tracker and all that sort of stuff so I don't think we're going to see the end of the analog video for some time, but I tell you what, wow, if this is what the future holds, I 
I cannot wait. I'm just utterly blown away with how good it is. Fantastic job. Cheers. Okay, so as you can see in the video here, we have two, two recordings, one of them taken from the goggles, one of them taken from the drone. Now, you know, to the layman, when you look at this, there's barely a drop of difference. Um, just absolutely fantastic. What is kind of clear, you can see on the left hand picture now on the goggles, how it's dithering very slightly on the one side. And um, you'll see it crop in and out. It kind of, it only happens occasionally and normally when you're in a slightly marginal area. Now, the area I was flying here, there's a lot of concrete around, there's some sand, sort of burrs in the way. There's, there's plenty of things to knock the picture out. And you can see just at occasional points, the sides dither. Um, nothing too dramatic. And in this case, what I do is I head behind some trees, you know, just on the edge. Normally, if I go through there, I, my signal and analog's just broken up to nothing. Whereas this time, absolutely fine. It really was no problem. So um, all up, it's very good. Um, what is interesting, and this is just on the side, is when I look at these videos, both of them are recorded at exactly the same time. They're the same video, one from the downlink, one from the goggles. And there's clearly a very, very subtle difference in the sort of frame rate that's going on here. And you can see just when you do fast maneuvers, how that one seems to lose and then catch up. And um, I think this is obviously due to frames being dropped on the way to the screen because it's always the goggle one that seems to lag very, very slightly. But hey, <laughs> I'm not complaining. I didn't notice when I was flying um, and certainly I never hit anything. I didn't push it too hard. But yeah, fantastic. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Cheers.